everybody, I'm Manny. Welcome back to my channel, Soul Cash Shade. So we're gonna be doing a uh, video here and I'm just gonna wing it. Um, I wasn't prepared with anything. I'm actually heading back out on the road. So I didn't have any time to uh, contact uh, the artisan or what have you. I'm just doing everything as it is and giving my feel and feedback of what I'm gonna feel here today. So if you already watched the uh, previous video, my mail call, I did get a razor sent out by uh, Rod and Mandy over at Sterling Soap Company. This is a brand new DE stainless steel, super aggressive neural handle. Um, oh, so awesome, like diamond etching. Um, very, very aggressive handle, really, really dig it. It is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous stainless steel. He did send two caps. This is the more mild, this is the more aggressive. Look at the blade gap on that. So I did see a video of his uh, using this razor and uh, he did one shave and got some nice cleanups. Uh, so I'm re really excited to try this out today. Uh, let me go ahead and um, get my gear together and I will be back in just a second. All right, guys. So I was actually not planning to do a video, um, but I gotta get a shave in. So I figured why the hell not? I don't know if I'm gonna release this video. So if I do, then uh, that was cause it was a good shave. So this one is a bottom uh, loading blade. Um, it's gotta be loaded on the bottom. The notes are down at the bottom. Here's the top cap. And there is the massive blade exposure. Now he says it's uh, definitely got a massive blade exposure. Um, there you go. But I guess uh, it being really smooth um, gives you a good shave. Now uh, I was a tester for this because you all may already know that I got really, really coarse stubble and uh, <laughs> my stubble can destroy a blade. So, uh, Brush of choice. I'm gonna be going in with my uh, West Coast shaving uh, uh, brush guy brush. Super, super awesome brush. Check out the uh, tips on that. And I'm uh, gonna go ahead and start loading. Ah, getting ahead of myself. Uh, soap of choice. I'm going to go with uh, Maya from Tallow and Steel. I did have it bloom in here. Got Parasol White and Blade of Choice Wilkinson Swords. If you can already see, I'm not prepared because I actually got to get out on the road. Um, so I wasn't planning to do a video, but I figured, you know, hey, I got to get a shaving anyways. Why not? Why not get this knocked out? You know get a feel for it and if I like the way it goes not um, necessarily uh, review wise but just shave wise you know the way I, I feel that the uh, razor did a really good job then I'll probably release it because I mean I can always go back and edit everything and um, put all the proper notation so I've always wanted to try Tallow and steel. I've heard so many great things about it. But um, the sense for me were really complex. And when I, I first started, um, complex scents and florals didn't appeal to me. And uh, as time has changed and gone by, change as time has gone by things has changed and <laughs> time has gone by i'm even shaving in my t-shirt i normally uh shave my tank top but i gotta go yeah it's uh Things have changed and as time has gone by, um, I've, I've been uh, experimenting and 
enjoying things that I normally wouldn't have in the very beginning. Now, I don't know what this scent is, but I, I dig it. It's it's nice. It uh, feels, uh, smells kind of green, uh, citrusy, and uh, smells like a little bit of chocolate in the background. Just awesome. So we'll see if my coarse beard allows me to use this gap or this uh, this this uh, aggressive cap or efficient cap. <laughs> so first pass. Let's see how we do here. Yeah, um, I don't believe this is a proper um, uh, head cap for this blade. Let's just give it a shot and see if it's the cap itself. <clears throat> Sorry, I forgot I gotta it's gotta be loaded on the bottom cap. <clears throat> difference in the blade gap there. Big difference. Let's see how it does now. Yeah for me it's not it's not the razor. It feels like it's the blade. But it could be um it could be my um my coarse double. This is why it was sent also. <clears throat> Let's see. So we might go through a few blades here. Sorry for the background noise. My wife is uh, vacuuming right now. So, so far so good with that blade. So I'll be giving these, this razor a, a few tries. Some will be on camera, some probably won't. We'll see.
the blade I have in here is a Primer Sharp. Even with this, um, even with this uh, more milder head cap, you can definitely feel the blade. Feels really smooth. But if you guys are new to wet shading, um, and just cause a razor or a bay feels smooth does not mean it won't cut you. So you really gotta pay attention, especially with a razor like this where you can uh, really feel the, um, really feel the blade. You really gotta be careful. Really dig the scent of this soap. So this is where we might see the issues. Another reason why I didn't want to do a shave today, because I have I've only got two days of growth, and you know I don't like shaving when I only got two days of growth. You can really feel that blade. Now, I don't know what the price point is going to be on this razor. Or when it will be released. Or um, what other um, details they might put into it, what they might change.
I don't know where it's made. I have no information about this razor. It was strictly sent for review. So when I get all those details, I will jot them all down and let you guys know. Whenever this is released, and if it's an affordable, and if it's at an affordable price, I would definitely be picking this razor up. Wow. Wow, that's it. DBS, trouble free. Still got plenty in the brush there. There you go. All right, guys, let me uh, rinse off. I'll be back. Man. That was a freaking awesome shave. Let me get in with the elm stick. I cannot wait to review this brazier some more. All right, let me rinse off.
fantastic. Really dig the scent. Let me get in with the aftershave balm. I didn't want to put any um, aftershave on because <clears throat> I really dig the scent. And I don't have, I don't have anything that matches the scent or complements it. Wow. That was a spare the moment shave. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that it was gonna turn out this, this wonderful. So let me uh, recap. We went with tallow and steel, Maya. There is the uh, soap already rinsed out. There is the side label there. have it so I cannot complain we went in with the stainless steel prototype uh, uh, from sterling soap company and this is the more milder big gap but uh, it does got a gap in there look at that and it shaves so smooth trouble free nick free Really, really dig it. Very smooth, very, oh man, the handle, the, the grip, it's freaking awesome. Such a great weight, weighted razor. Uh, I did go in with the uh, Perma Sharps. I used the Wilkinson Swords that didn't go uh, smooth as I, I wanted it to. And uh, we went in with my, um, I keep forgetting the name. I'm sorry, I'm just in a hurry here and it's, it's not coming to me right now. Uh, the Brush Guy Brush from West Coast Shaving. Really, really dig this brush. It's freaking awesome. My first time using that brush there and uh, went in with some Parasol White. That is my shave. Uh, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed. Fantastic, fantastic uh, shave today. Thank you very much, Rod and Mandy over at uh, Certain Soap Company for sending this razor over to me for review. And I uh, can't wait to use it some more and uh, share it with you guys. So that is it. If y'all like what you see, please like, favorite, share, subscribe as always. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Y'all see for the life. There. Hey guys, I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update on the uh, razor. So uh, currently when I recorded the video, it was about 9.30ish uh, uh, in the morning and it's currently right now 10.45. Uh, so a little over 12 hours. Um, I can't recall the last time I got a shade that was so close and last this long, uh, still clean shaven. I don't even have a five o'clock shadow yet. There is, excuse me, uh, there are certain areas on my face where I can feel just very minimal hair growth growing back. Um, amazing, very amazing, shockingly amazing. Um, that's an amazing razor. Uh, I just, you know, I'm here uh, over the road and uh, uh, finished my shift and, and and I just I can't believe I keep touching my face and I can't believe how smooth it is um, <laughs> this razor is not mine it's not a gift it was it was just a razor they sent for a review and uh, <laughs> ain't no line man that's that's a uh, I'm very very impressed I hope you guys get a chance to pick up this razor and uh, really enjoy it um, I'm really interested to see what everybody else's thoughts and uh, reviews are going to be. Um, can't wait to hear. But I uh, just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update.